On November 8, 2016, you voted to make America great again. For many years, our citizens watched as Washington politicians presided over one disappointment after another. They surrendered our sovereignty to foreign bureaucrats in faraway and distant capitals. The entire world has heard the news with every decision and every action. We are now putting America first. We have withdrawn the United States from job-killing deals such as the Trans-Pacific Partnership and the very expensive and unfair Paris Climate Accord. We have established strict new vetting procedures to keep terrorists out of the United States, and our vetting is getting tougher each month. We have dealt ISIS one devastating defeat after another. We have made clear that countries that are immensely wealthy should reimburse the United States for the cost of defending them. We have united our allies in an unprecedented effort to isolate North Korea. However, there is much more work to do. We are days away from passing historic tax cuts. Optimism has surged. Confidence has returned. We are presenting to the world our new national security strategy. Whether we like it or not, we are engaged in a new era of competition. We also face rival powers, Russia and China, that seek to challenge American influence, values, and wealth. And we will stand up for our country like we have never stood up before. We must protect the American people, the homeland, and our great American way of life. It calls for the construction of a wall on our southern border, ending chain migration, and the horrible visa and lottery programs. American strategy recognizes that economic security is national security. Any nation that trades away its prosperity for security will end up losing both. It calls for cutting taxes and rolling back unnecessary regulations. And it calls for new steps to protect our national security, industrial, and innovation Base. And it embraces a future of American energy dominance. It calls for streamlining acquisition, eliminating bloated bureaucracy, and massively building up our military, which has the fundamental side benefit of creating millions and millions of jobs. It recognizes space as a competitive domain and calls for multi-layered missile defense. It recognizes that our strength is magnified by allies who share principles and our principles. Finally, our strategy is to advance American influence in the world. But this begins with building up our wealth. We do not seek to impose our way of life on anyone, but we will champion the values without apology. We will not allow inflexible ideology to become an obsolete, an obstacle to peace. As long as we are proud and very proud of who we are, how we got here, and what we are fighting for to preserve, we will not fail.